What's up everyone? This is Emilio with Quick Property Solutions. Today, I am on the east side of Detroit. I'm going to be doing a driving tour of the neighborhood Island View. What I'm gonna be doing, um, Island View is on the east side. It's right by West Village, Indian Village. Um, this is one of the neighborhoods that are, you know, revitalizing. Uh, it's got a lot of inventory. Streets are a little rough, but it is starting to come together. And where I'm gonna be starting from today is as you see behind me, there's this co it's a coffee house laundromat called Common, uh, the Commons. Uh, so if you're in the area and you're checking out this neighborhood, come support some local business. Um, we are on Mac and Van Dyke. So I'm going to be starting on Bill Street, which is right next to Van Dyke. So we are starting south, uh, south of Mac and west of Van Dyke. So I'm going to just jump in the car. I'm going to drive around the area so you can see um, the you know how the area looks. So if you like this content, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Um, if you wanna throw a donation, helps with the gas. I'm gonna buy some more cameras and you know try and make these videos better. So if you wanna donate, I'm gonna put my cash up and Venmo on the screen. But if you just simply like the content, wanna support the channel um, without donating, you know, like the, like the video, share the video. Um, this way you guys could see the improvements that are going on in the Detroit area and I hope you guys enjoy this video and here we go all right here we go going down Beals uh, so if just to let you know at the end of this video I am going to be doing a an analysis um, of the values in this area um, you could see how much the houses are selling for in this area and um, man with Beals this is Beals this is pretty much vacant land out here. I don't know who owns the land, but uh, yeah, there's no houses on here. <laughs> this would be a good area for redevelopment though. I mean, you could build a whole bunch of houses. Man, should I jump over to the next street? Cause there's nothing down here. It's, this is pretty boring footage. Um, you know what? No, let's drive all the way down uh, and take a look at what we see here. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of vacant land. Got to keep the footage real, though. This is how it looks. Okay, we're coming up on some houses here. Some frame houses. They are not vacant. They are lived in. Okay, I'm going to take this all the way down to Kerchival. And then I'm going to turn around and go back up again. And normally when I drive these neighborhoods, the one thing that I look for, um, I do look for dumpsters. I do a dumpster count. So dumpsters are pretty much a good sign of someone purchasing a house and either gutting a house and making improvements to the property or trying to make improvements to the property. Just because they gut it doesn't mean that they're gonna, they're gonna renovate it, but I mean, it's a good sign. We got our first dumpster here on the left. That house looks like it's been burnt out too. Right there on the left. Looks pretty bad. This is Vernon. All right, so they're cutting me off here on Vernon. So I'm going to take a left <clears throat> and then I'm going to go up Van Dyke and then cut across. Oh, there's some nice brick duplex right there on. Where am I at? I'm on Warren. All right, so now I'm on Van Dyke and I'm heading up to Kirchhoff. Oh, so here's a cool development right here on the left-hand side. Um, it is apartments on the top, and then on Kerchival, there is some retail stores. They just built this, and it looks like they've already sold some units because I see people living at the top. Really nice area. And right across the street here is West Village, but I'm not going to go down to West Village. West Village is a real nice area, pretty stable when it comes to um, value. I don't get a ton of deals in West Village. It's, a, it's hard to get some good deals out there. I will always try though. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this all the way down to Townsend. Cause I'm, I got a map in my hand here and Townsend goes all the way back up to Mac. 
So it looks like, see, look, there's a bus stop here. There's bike paths here. They did renovate this area. It's looking pretty good, actually. Uh, on the left here, there's a commercial building that's new. Actually, I think this is the same thing. Commercial spots on the bottom with, re with um, apartments on the top. Wow, that's a nice building. Yeah, that's a nice building on the left. See, retail for lease. Really nice area. All right, where's Townsend? Okay, I'm on Sheridan. Oh, I missed Townsend. Oh, shoot. All right. Which street is this? We'll go down this one. We're on Field. So let's go down Field. And this apartment, this is an apartment right here on the corner. This was completely abandoned and somebody looks like renovated it beautifully. People are living there now too. So now we're going down Field. Um... You got a lot of duplexes, side-by-side -side duplexes, mind you, and they're brick. Pretty cool. This one actually looks a little rough. Probably should, oh, I should probably load up some door hangers in my car, put some uh, door hangers. We buy houses door hangers. Oh, look at this one on the left. This looks like it's also two unit, brand new windows, brand new siding. They're renovating this house. It's beautiful, beautiful. House here on the right needs some love. Oh, look at this one on the left. These are beautiful houses, but in poor, poor condition, some of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive around for, I'll set a timer on it. I'll drive around for maybe 20 minutes so you get a good idea um, of what the area looks like. These are some nice big houses here. Brick duplex right here on the right. Okay, ooh, man, that one in the corner looks rough. Okay, we're up on Charlevoix now. So we're on field in Charlevoix. All right, looks like we got a house that's being renovated here. We got a dumpster. Oh no, this is a yard work, Never mind. I thought it was a dumpster. <clears throat> Ooh, this house is nice on the right. Brick duplex side by side. Looks pretty good. Ah, I was trying to wholesale this house. Looks like they're doing some work on it now. Brand new roof now, new windows, beautiful. So renovation going on right here on this house on field. These houses on the left are awesome, man. Beautiful. Abandoned house here on the right. Ooh, look at that one, that one's sweet. It's funny cause the houses, whenever I see houses, and they, it's beautiful, just beat up. I, to me, I'm just like, oh man, we could renovate that house. <laughs> it just shows that there's still a lot of inventory in this neighborhood. Dumpsters. This is not a dumpster. This is a shipping container. Oh, well, you know what? They are working on this house, but it looks like it's being painted. Looks like it's already been renovated on the inside. Nope, they are renovating the inside. I see fresh drywall. Fresh drywall, newer roof. So this house here on the left is being renovated. So I believe that's three houses on Field Street being renovated. <clears throat> Park here on the left. All right, and then we're coming up on Mac. So now that we're on Mac, I'm gonna just head on a street over. Okay, we're on Sheridan now. 
Matter of fact, I sold the house on Sheridan. Oh, oh yeah, I got a partner that's working on this house right here. Doing a good job. New windows, new roof. Cleaned it up pretty good. So that renovate that's a one renovation. I see contractor van on the right, new deck on this house here. That's uh, two renovations. Ooh, that house next to it looks sweet. So we're not even a block in, all right, Con, two renovations on this street. Two on Sheridan. Oh, someone's right behind me. I'll let him pass me up. I'm driving pretty slow. I don't want to bother nobody. Oh, I tried wholesaling this house too, man. I tried. I tried uh, wholesaling three houses on this street. That's crazy. This one on the left. I remember because it was a big lot. All right, we're at Sheridan and Charlevoix. So far, let's see. Oh, that's I saw someone painting. So that house is getting renovated on the left. That's four. Four houses being renovated. That house is uh, fifth. See new doors, new roof, and new windows on this house on the left. So that's five houses being renovated on this stretch of Sheridan. With one house already renovated, looks looking pretty good. Okay, we're crossing Verner now. Sheridan and Verner. I uh, see this house is trying to be renovated. They put metal siding, but they're doing it vertically. Interesting. So that's five, five houses on Sheridan. Man, Sheridan's got a lot of uh, activity right now. Now the question is, are they gonna are they gonna flip it or are they gonna rent it? Because if they could flip it, you know, uh, they're gonna do their best to try and <clears throat> maximize the value out of this neighborhood. I am going to um, I am going to do an evaluation at the end of this video. So if you want to skip all this driving and go to the evaluation, you can just skip ahead. Okay, we're cro crossing over Kerchival now. Uh, once you cross over Kerchival, uh, if you were over there, you'd be in the West Village. But this is technically still Island View. You got these cool townhouses on the left. Actually, my friend lives in one of these townhouses. Some big vacant lot right here on the right. Alright, so I'm going to take this all the way to Lafayette. These are some cool townhouses. What a change of scenery. Pretty cool. And then up here on the left, that's a greenhouse? Or is that a commercial building? That's really funky. It's green. I can see the inside too. That looks renovated. That's cool. That's really cool. There's a 
duplex here. Look at that Agnes. All right, I don't really see. This is a commercial, commercial right here. That looks like this is a office or a school. This is a church. So I'm gonna turn right here on Agnes. Got another. Well, I don't know what kind of building that is. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna head right here on Field Street. Oh no, wait, I was on field. I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. That was dumb. I was already on field. Turn around. I'm gonna turn around right in the middle of the street. <laughs> no, one, no one cares. Hold on. on fields this should be Sheridan yep and then we're just gonna turn on the next street go up <clears throat> man I definitely should hit up Island View okay so we're here on Townsend now wasn't that Townsend Oh, it's supposed to go down Townsend. Okay, all oh, turned around. Oh, wow. All right, so cool apartment on the left. Brick apartment, beautiful. That's really cool. These look like, I don't know if these are townhouses or apartments. But that is pretty awesome. Oh, right here, St. Charles Terraces. Oh, that looks awesome. And then we got another one here, St. Charles Residences. Looks like this was a school at some point, or like an old apartment building. Beautiful job on renovation. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the map with this driving. I try. <laughs> I was supposed to go like straight down and then straight up each street, but I am kind of all over the place now. There's, uh, we're behind that apartment building uh, and commercial spot space at the bottom. This white building on the left. It's pretty cool looking. right I missed Townsend the first time okay we're crossing over Kirchival and we're going north on Townsend and uh, yeah this street looks a little rough we got some two vacant houses here on the left uh, the house on the right it's not vacant but it looks pretty rough <clears throat> all right we got a renovation going on right here I need I see new windows um, I see a brand new roof that looks pretty good a lot of vacant land on the left. And we're gonna take this all the way up to Mac and then go down the left. Okay, we are at what is this burner? Yep, burner. Oh, hurry up. This car coming. <laughs> um Brick single family. Ooh, this one has a beat up too on the right. Nice one on the left. Beautiful house on the left. It's recently renovated. A nice house on the right. Look at this one on the left. This one's beautiful too. Looks vacant. They left the lights on. Probably an Airbnb. Ooh, that one's nice. Uh, they got paper, brown paper on the windows, which means they're renovating it. Uh, so what is that, three houses here being renovated on Townsend? Okay, we're coming up on Charlevoix. Nice looking house. 
house here on the right. Brand new windows, brand new door, brand new siding. On the left, same thing. Looks like it's being renovated. Paper, brown paper on the windows. I'll count that as a fourth. So I thought Sheridan had a lot of activity. Looks like Townsend. And there wasn't even a lot of houses on Townsend. Being renovated over there. Vacant house here on the left. Oof, man. It's rough right here. This is uh, Goth, I think, in Townsend. They're right here on the left. Vacant. Oh, that one on the right. Vacant and burnt out. Yikes. Um, got brand new siding right here on the house on the left. Brand new windows. Looks like they're renovating this one. That's five. This house looks lived in already, but it looks like they're doing some work on it. Beautiful house here on the left. And on the right. Oh, man. Right here, renovation. That's six. Yep, dumpster too. That's six houses. So Townsend, pretty active. All right, Townsend. All right, so we're at Mac now, so I'm gonna start heading uh, west. We already went down, this is Sheridan here. Went down Sheridan. This is Field, went down Field. And then we're up at Grand River. Oh, it's one way. It's do not enter. Ah, oh, shoot. Yep. Oh, gotta take another turn around. All right, we're not taking Helen. Looks like we're gonna go down Canton. All right. Going down Canton. So far from what I've seen, Sheridan and Townsend, um, our first field would be a close to second. I'll say Sheridan and Townsend are tied. Uh, let's see how many rehabs we could find here on Canton. It's a mixture of this is a single family, and then he got a duplex here on the right. Vacant right here on the right. Ooh, looks pretty beat up. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. Renovation right here on the left. That's a good. Th whenever you see like new windows, uh, a dumpster in the street, a contractor van, or like brown paper bags, brown paper bags, brown paper on the windows. They're just trying to cover up the windows. You you know that they're doing some work on the inside. I should write a lot of these addresses down. Try to get some driving for dollars. Ooh, that's a cool apartment building. On the right. That's a cool apartment building too. That one is beat up. Nice.
Okay, we're here at uh, Camden Charlevoix. Matter of fact, I, I, I tried making an offer on this uh, building right here. But the problem is, is it's like three separate owners. Ooh, that's a really cool house. Look at that one with the yellow doors on the right. It's neat. So I will definitely say, oh. Some food out here. I will definitely say that this is a neighborhood that is in revitalization because there's a, a good mixture of like lived in homes and then completely renovated homes, but a lot of renovations going on. A lot. Ooh, look at all this dumping on the left. Ugh. That's terrible. That's terrible. They probably got so many blight tickets. Got a renovated house here on the left. I'm not gonna call. I'm not gonna count the renovated houses though as houses being renovated, um, because they could have been renovated a year ago. Um, and I'm only really gonna pull comps from three months back. I might go six months back just to see. But I usually when I pull comps, I'm going three months back. right looks pretty good new roof just painted brand new windows uh, there is plastic on dark plastic on the windows and it looks like it's been worked on I'll give that a renovation so two renovations on can bike lanes we are at Kercheval I think we're gonna take this all the way to Agnes like before mm, houses are okay you're a little beat up oh that one's house is nice on the right not seeing as many renovations on Canton Ooh, that's kind of cool oh yeah, nice house, double lot, new siding. Looks pretty good. Wow, what is that? Is that an apartment building on the left? That's a quad. It's big. Okay, we're at St. Paul. vacant duplex here looking very sparse here too it looks like this is like a school on the right hand side that house looks beat up that house is beat up too lived in but it's beat up all right we're here on agnes so what i'm gonna do is uh oh i can't cut across i gotta go to the next street it says no outlet so i gotta go to the next street i think the next one's lafayette uh this stretch right here man not too much houses are pretty spread out each house has like a, a side extra side lot next to it got this abandoned where like a warehouse thing on the left yep here's lafayette right here so i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut across lafayette to the next street and then a bunch of vacant land so a lot of opportunity for development out here i don't see anybody cutting ground here all right, we're here on Concord. Oh, Concord! This is where we just did the um, we just did the two unit uh, conversion. Not conversion. Sorry, it was a quad, and we renovated two of the units. Right on. A lot of vacant land on the left. These houses here are lived in and okay, not renovated, but but they are lived in. This is a. Oh, they're like, oh, it's like, oh, it's like a triplex. Interesting. All right. So Canton really didn't have a lot of renovations. I had like two. That's about it.
Let's go. All right, so I had to do a data dump. Sorry, my camera filled up with data, so I had to clear some data off. We're good now. So again, we are going north on Concord. Let's see how Concord does uh, compared to uh, Field and Townsend and Sheridan. All of them have pretty decent amount of uh, renovations. Look at this little dude. A lot of vacant land up here. Looks like there's a church here on the left. But yeah, vacant land. Not a lot of houses out here. All right, we're coming up on Kirchville, so we're on Concord and Kirchville. All right. Got a nice looking house here. Uh, it looks like new siding, new doors, new roof. Um, it's already been renovated, so I will not count that as renovation, but that looks real nice. House here on the left is, uh, man, that looks like a teardown. Uh, got a house here on the right. Uh, this house, plywood, new roof. We got some uh, demo in the front. I'll count that as a renovation. All right, we are at Concord and Werner. I do see a dumpster. See a dumpster here. We got a brick. Looks like a brick duplex, brand new roof. Um, do I see any activity inside? Yeah, it looks like I see some people working on the inside. So I'll count that as renovation. First renovation. Looks nice, but it's overgrown grass. Maybe it's vacant. Got a dumpster here on the left. I'll count that as renovation. Oh wow, house is total up. All right, we're coming up on Canton and Charlevoix. So it looks like we got two renovations. Ooh, look at that house. Oof, that's rough. a park that looks uh, a little beat up here and it looks like a commercial building on the left too looks vacant another park here looks vacant oh I see uh, looks like a duplex here brand new roof That's about it. I don't see. It looks like there's. I don't see any work being done here. Yeah. I'm not gonna count that as a renovation. It looks like it's got a brand new roof, but that's about it. And no other signs of uh, progress here. <laughs> Vacant land for sale here on the left. Uh, we got another duplex here. Newer windows. I do see some subfloor through the windows looks like a brand new oh this is oh they are renovated in this one this is the house I know I know the guy renovating that house because this is the house we just did on the left this is the quad if you watch me on uh, my other videos we renovated two units out of this place um, oh they put flowers down looks nice good I hope you got that place rented make some money all right, we're coming up on Mac. So I really counted three renovations on Concord, not the strongest. Um, but I noticed we are on the other side of Grand Boulevard as well. So it looks like these neighborhoods and Island View aren't as dense as ones on the um, east side of Grand Boulevard. All right, so we went down Canton. I do want to go down Helen Street. Oh, you know what? I 
forgot that Helen, I wanted to go down Helen Street, but I forgot it's one way. I'm gonna put a little Yui on this road. Okay, so Helen Street's only one way. Alright, we've already been down Ken. go down, I think this will be the last street because I think I've gone past the 30 minutes. You know what? I'm going to pass this. This is Bellevue, but it looks like it's all commercial space. Uh, it looks like they demoed a building right here too. Uh, let's see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm on Mac. That's more commercial though. And it looks like the rest of this is commercial. So I'm here at Meldrum. It doesn't look, that place looks sparse. Like, I mean, like nothing down here. So there's a bunch of commercial on the left here. So you're gonna count on houses on the right and it doesn't really look like there's many houses. Here's one house, that's about it. The rest of it is, I wouldn't flip a house here. There's no houses to flip. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call that. Let's see. Yep. So it looks like once you pass Grand Boulevard, it looks like it's pretty sparse. There's a split uh, house right there, it looks pretty beat up. But this is mostly commercial here. Um, oh, I see some houses down there. Charlevoix. Here's some houses here. These all look either vacant or lived in. I don't see much renovation here. And again, it's pretty sparse. All these houses here. That house looks renovated. Oh, there's one. There's a dumpster right there. Got to clean out. That's a one renovation for the street. on the left, more commercial, oh, it's like a, what is this, a football field? Oh, that's cool looking. Uh, we're on Verner. And everybody, it's looking kind of sparse. So what I'm going to do, is I am going to put an end to this video because I think that this is... The best of Island View, I think, is on the other side of Grand Boulevard. This looks like a bit mixture of a lot of commercial and some single family. Oh God, speaks people. Single family spread around. So what I'm going to do, um, I am going to stop this video. I'm going to jump onto Redfin real quick. We're going to see, um, pull up some comps, see what houses are selling for in this area. We are now going to underwrite uh, Island View in Detroit, Michigan, just to see what the values are. Hope you guys enjoyed that video of me driving around. It was informative. You got to see boots on the ground, what it looks like. Going to go to Redfin here, type in Island View. All right, so here is Island View. These are all the current listings. So what we're going to do is... We're going to click on some filters here. I want to see solds in the last three months. So look at the difference between what's listed and what is sold. It's a lot of green. That's very little blue. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I don't really want to see... Well, let's see houses. Let's see multifamily. I don't want apartment buildings, but there are a lot... I did notice there were a lot of duplex side-by-side uh, -side duplexes. Um, so let's see here. I like to go highest to low because all the renovated houses go to the top. And if you remember, anything, the area that was on the west side of Grand Boulevard was, it was pretty sparse out there, but I do, 
Well, let's do this. I started on Mac and Beals. So I started right here. And then we drove this area here all the way down to Kirchhoff. Where's Agnes where we turned? Yeah, so Agnes. So that was where the first portion of the video was between, what was this, Van Dyke and East Grand Boulevard. Um, so let me focus in a little bit more. Actually, you know what? Let's do, let's do this. Let's... If I hover over a listing, it'll show where it is on the map. So I see here, this is actually, this is one of the houses we drove by on Field Street. So if you remember, the top three I thought was Field, Sheridan, and Townsend. So right here, you see this brick duplex side by side. It just sold in June. It's July 11th now, 2024. This sold on June 7th, my birthday. Um, so let's click on that link. I wonder if they have pictures of what it looked like. Here's one that was on Townsend, which was also very popular. So if you see me hover over it, you see it on the left highlighted in yellow. So here's another duplex that sold. Wow. So 370, 347. This one looks like a single family. This sold in May. This sold for 300. Wow. Actually, this is uh, pretty impressive. This sold in April of 2026. This was on Helen Street. Now, this remember Helen Street was the street I couldn't drive down. It was one way. We'll click on that, too. Uh, here is... This looks like a single family on Sabre. Wow, 250 Not bad. Uh, and then we have one here on Parker, but uh, it, it's half the price of Sabre. So what I'm guessing is... Uh, Parker, yeah, if you look at the pictures of it, it, it looks like it needs to be renovated. Welcome home, fast, uh, highly sought, villages of Detroit. This home has been completely gutted out, so the, they started renovating it, but they just sold it as is. has new framing mechanicals, so 125 But let's take a look at this one on Field Street. No pictures, unfortunately, but it did sell for 370000 That is pretty good. Going to the description, since we don't have pictures to look at. Wow, whoever wrote this needs a freaking needs to write a book it's amazing truly exceptional home meticulously completely renovated from the studs in 2017 amazing uh let's see how long it took to sell so it listed in may 9th it went pending in eight days and it closed what in like three weeks pretty impressive sold pretty quick Okay, let's go to this one on Townsend. This is one I remember driving by. This one it was a nice one. Um, sold for three forty-seven. So house hacking is a perfect way. So this is a duplex. They're telling people to live in one end and rent out the other. It looks like it was uh, completely renovated. Renovate, uh, both units completely renovated, all new roof, electrical, heating, plumbing. Let's see how long this one took to sell. The last one took about three weeks. This one was listed on the 13th. Oh, no, it listed on the 13th, and then it sold on the 16th? That doesn't seem right. They probably, the agent probably had some incorrect data. Couldn't have sold in three days. That's crazy. But it did sell. Uh, let's go to the one on Sayburn. So this is a four bedroom, two and a half, fully renovated. Feels like new construction. So pretty much everything. New roof, new vinyl windows, hot water tank, completely gutted. Uh, let's see how long this one took to sell. Listed on the 18th. It went pending in what, like two weeks? And it sold eight days later. Wow, they're selling pretty quick here. This one on Helen, 296, newly renovated duplex. Yep, so 296. So we have one at, one that sold for 370 in June, 347 in May, and 296 in April. Wow, what a jump in price. And this one was listed on the 15th. 
Oh, 2023. Whoa. They dropped it almost 15 grand. And it finally went pending the next year. Wow. And it did close about a month later. Wow, what a price drop. Did it drop their price almost? Was that 55? Almost 55 grand. 55 grand. There must have been something wrong with it. But still, though, it still sold. It took a long time, though. Uh, this one on Saber, and I believe this was single family. Step inside to find a completely remodeled interior adorned with recessed lighting throughout. All right, so this one sold for 250 and it sold in April. And this one sold February. So it took about, what, six weeks to go pending, and it finally sold in a month. And no price drop. So not bad. That, that's what you see here. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope this was educational. Again, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate to me and, you know, help me out with some gas, <laughs> pay, help pay for some extra, um, you know, uh, camera equipment to make the videos cooler. Um, I'll put my cash app and Venmo in the description. Thanks.